12 shots, I believe, in the 10 ring. Yeah, you know, I mean, this was this was a good performance, and it was a bronze medal winning performance. But in in Brady's world and his ability, this actually was not his best match. He's capable of much of much more, and uh, I, I imagine Brady's probably a little frustrated with the shooting, even though he did win. Although, when you win on a day when it's not your best day, that that does uh, speak volumes for how good he is. When you're able to win on a bad day, that's. Uh, that's a talented archer there, or a lucky archer, sometimes a little of both. Little of both. Two good, talented archers right here. In the men's gold medal match recurve competition, you are looking at Victor Ruban of Ukraine, 32 years old, ranked 20th in the world, but has a gold medal resume to his credit. He was a 6-4 victor in the quarterfinals and then was almost flawless in the semifinals against Brady Ellis at 11 of his 12 shots in the center ring. And now he'll face another Australian. This is Ryan Tayek of Australia. He cruised to a 7-1 victory in his quarterfinal match, then needed just nine shots and three sets to blank Taylor Worth in the semifinals. So Ryan Tayek versus Victor Ruban, and the only matchup for these two down through the years, Ruban won six to nothing, and that was at stage one in Shanghai last year, 2013. I got to shoot with uh, uh, Ryan in the qualification, both at this Indoor World Championships and the last Indoor World Championships as well. And he seemed to be shooting pretty good. Once in a while, he'd have an end that'd get away from him and, and uh, struggle, but generally he shot pretty consistently and pretty good throughout the match. He'll need to be on his A game today, and he's on his A game right from the start. Ten points to start it off. Victor Ruban, gold medalist at the 2008 Games in Beijing. Ten. Ten as well. I like this. And of course, Victor, a team gold medal yesterday. Nine. Trying to hold it steady. Yeah, you could see him trying to recover from that shot. His sight pin was probably a little bit on the left-hand side when he shot it, because you could see him trying to bring his bow arm back over at the last minute. Yep. All tied up. Ten. At the very least, Ryan Tayak will split the points. As Victor Ruban. Ooh, surprisingly low with an eight. And Tayak takes the lead. It's hard, hard to get away with eights when you're shooting against the best guys in the world on these. You notice a little bit of difference in their equipment. Uh, Victor Rubin's shooting X-10 arrows, so it's a small carbon outdoor arrow that we generally use for the outdoor competitions because of less wind drift. And uh, Ryan's using aluminum arrows, which uh, are also extremely accurate, but they uh, can catch more lines due to the size of the arrow in indoors. They're not preferred outdoors because of the wind drift. Indoors, both arrows can be very accurate. The luminous will catch a little bit more line, lines, but uh, has a little bit slower reaction time in the bow as well, so sometimes a mistake can be magnified a little more. And that arrow is in the air for less than a second. It doesn't take long. You blink and it's there. It's there, and a lot can happen, though, on the way to that target. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, no matter how well you do the whole shot, it's that split second that you let go of the arrow. If you if you do something wrong at that second, it can uh, affect the whole outcome of the shot. So Ryan Tyak with a 2-0 lead after the first set. Victor Ruban from Ukraine. Nine. And we assure you he did hit a target. Yeah, I think they were zoomed in on the wrong spot there. <laughs> Nine. And a nine for Tayak. Ranks seventy second in the world standings. Ruban. Back in the ten ring. Ten. Good. So 
So tied at 19 after the first two shots. Second set. Two nothing lead for the Australian and Ruban trying to put the pressure on. Yeah, he's shooting pretty quick, smooth shots there. That's a close one. I'm not sure about that. They'll have to have to call that one at the target. So Ryan Tyak, silver medalist at the Australian Open last year. Finished ninth two years ago in Las Vegas at the Indoor World Championships. Going up against one of the best in the business, Victor Ruban, who competed here in Nîmes the last time they held the Indoor Championships here back in 2003. Him been around a while. I was at that competition, actually. You both been around a while. <laughs> I remember shooting with him at a tournament in Italia, Turkey, probably. I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. And uh, we walked down to the target there, one end, shooting a six arrow in. He forgot to shoot one of his arrows. He only <laughs> shot five arrows into the target. Short changed himself. <laughs> I guess it happens. If you stick around long enough, you see everything, don't you, Vic? Yeah, yeah, you do. You do. But I'm sure he learned a valuable lesson from that, from that match as well. Don't leave any bullets in the gun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I wonder if Victor looks back on that story with the same sense of humor that we do. I doubt it. I, I doubt, doubt it. But, yeah. but the good the good news was, even if he'd have shot a 10 on that arrow, I still would have beat him for the match. So, <laughs> Ruban, by the way, did pick up the two points in that second set. We're tied at two all. Yeah. And he needs a 10 to keep pace with Ryan Tayek, yeah. and he does. That thumb on the back of his neck. You don't see that too. You don't see that too often, but it creates a very solid anchor point. A lot of the uh, uh, a lot of the old Soviet countries used that technique for many years to great success, but uh, it's not the not the technique that you see used most well, often these days, but obviously it's a gold medal winning technique. It goes back years, doesn't it? It does. It does. Door is open for Victor Ruban, and he goes right through that door and slams it behind him. <laughs> he did, right in the middle, right in the middle. Whether you're, shooting this, whether you're shooting the thin X10 arrows or the fat aluminum arrows, if you shoot it in the middle, it's in the middle. Victor knows a golden opportunity when he sees one, saw one right there, took advantage of it, and picked up two more points and takes the lead of the match four to two and is in position right now to pick up his second gold medal here at the Indoor World Championships in Nîmes. Yeah, it's nice at that point in the match when you have a little bit of a lead. You, can, you don't want to relax too much, but you know if you have, you know, have one good end in the next two ends, you can uh, shut it away can afford to make one mistake, although you never want to. And there's a good look at that style employed by Victor Rudevon with the thumb on the back of his neck. As you said, using it as an anchor point. Yeah, it makes it locks his hand in, makes it very steady for his anchor point. Uh, Zabrowski uh, used that technique for many years, and he was one of the one of the famous archers uh, from uh, from the Soviet Union and, and uh, Russia. Kazakhstan. So Tyak with his back against the wall comes out gunning. And I have to correct myself. They split those set points in the third set, so we're tied up at three all. Tied up at 19 all, tied up in the match, three all. Ten. 
So it's up to Ruban. We can split the points or fall behind, and he splits the points. Both of these archers are making very good shots. They're shooting pretty quick, pretty smooth. There's a few of them that aren't as smooth as they would like, but in general, they're both shooting pretty well here. Advantages to shooting quickly, just not giving yourself that much time to think it through too much. And it can be a couple things. One is, is uh, less time to think, and uh, the second one is, it seems like after you, it takes a couple seconds to settle in initially, but after that point, you're expending extra energy and you slow down the motion of pulling through the clicker. You notice there's a clicker on the front of the bows, and the second the clicker drops, it makes a clicking sound, tapping the bow, and the archer lets go instantly. It's almost like a, it's almost like a reflex to the archers at this level that have done it this many years. And you talk about the energy, Vic. There is a lot of energy expended in drawing that bow string back because you're talking about, what, 45 to 55 pounds, somewhere in that range? Depends on the archer, but I would imagine I would imagine these archers are probably uh, uh, in the upper 40s. Uh, anywhere 45 to 52 pounds would be my guess. And they, they burn a lot of mental energy in these matches, too. Shooting, shooting three arrows in a match like this will tire you out as much as shooting 10 arrows in practice. As calm as they may look, the adrenaline is flowing. Ryan Tack, 10 points. 10 more for Tyak, who is hanging in there with Victor Rubon. We're tied at four all here in the fifth set. Nine. Ooh, and a break for Tyak. That may be the break he needs to pull off an upset. All he needs is one more arrow now, one more 10, and he'll seal the deal. He's on the verge. Ruban has to give himself a chance, though. And he gives himself that chance, stays one point behind, but it's all in the hands of Tyak right now. One arrow away from a world champion. For the gold. And there it is. He did it in, in, in world champion fashion. That, that hit the very middle. Ryan Tyak down the middle. And Victor Ruban finishes strong, but it's not going to be enough. So a match that was so close all the way through comes down to a difference of a 9 and a 10 on the final shot. And it's, it means a gold medal. It's a very fine line when you get to that, when you get to that level. This has got to be very exciting for Ryan and the whole Australian team. It's been a while since they've had an individual world championship. And uh, you know, definitely a big boost to his young career at this point. He may not be showing it outwardly, but I'm sure inside. <laughs> that's one excited guy. Yeah, it is. It is. I guarantee you he's jumping up and down inside, even if you don't see it. So Ryan Tyak, on paper, you've got to say that this is an upset. Victor Ruban obviously came in with more experience, more credentials, a gold medal in the Olympics. Ryan Tyak, obviously, I think, the biggest win of his career. Oh, most definitely. But, you know, with archery, it doesn't matter what you did yesterday. It doesn't matter what you did last week. You can be an Olympic gold medalist, <laughs> and uh, uh, you, can, you can lose to the lowest-ranked guy on the field if you don't put it together at that, that moment.